Only on nine brownies laced with pots sent several high school students to the hospital, and tonight they're recovering, and one classmate is under arrest. KCAL's Bobby Capel is live in LA's Lincoln Heights neighborhood tonight with more on the drug scare on campus. Bobby. Well, Susie, this case was handled by L.A. school police yesterday. It happened here at Lincoln High School during school hours. So far, they have not identified publicly the people who were involved, but it's certainly getting a lot of attention here tonight. It's just scary. I mean, it's just you're, th that shouldn't be happening here, especially not in school. Parents and students alike stunned to find out that three Lincoln High School students were sent to the hospital after eating brownies that had been laced with, at the minimum, marijuana. The LAUSD would not confirm reports that they also may have contained meth. Well, I went to the nurse and um, I see a D in there and a cop. I'm like, oh, what's going on here? So like, I walk out and I see all like all, like a bunch of ambulances and like firefighters. According to the LAUSD, the brownies were consumed at school yesterday morning, and one student was arrested for possession as a result of the incident. I know two girls that got sent to the hospital. Ronnie Silas is friends with two of the students that ate the brownies. She says the girls became violently ill. She couldn't walk and two securities had to carry her out of her classroom. And then my other friend, the ambulance came because she was throwing up a lot in the restroom. She threw up like four times and she couldn't walk either. It's unclear at this point if the teens who got sick knew what they were eating. Either way, parents say this is a new one for them. It actually does surprise me. It, it, I'm shocked by it. I've never really heard of anything considering that my daughter is a senior and the other one is a sophomore. We've never had an incident like this that I know of. Now, the student we interviewed there for our piece tells me tonight that she has spoken to the girls that got sick and they are doing just fine now. As for any discipline they will face, while well, that is still up in the air if they will face any at all. We're live in Lincoln Heights, Bobby Capel, KCAL 9 News.